Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I want to take a look today at where I think this market is headed over the next couple of days as we head toward that September 27th date where a lot of us will be getting on the game with no hours restrictions and a lot of people who pre-ordered the game will be getting on and also opening those FIFA points. And a lot of people are starting to talk about what they expect with all those FIFA points being opened. They talk about a big market crash with a ton of supply coming, which I definitely agree with. But since people are talking about that and since people know that is coming, a lot of people are starting to get prepared by selling cards even now. As we get into the Saturday and Sunday, as we head into the 27th, I do think you're gonna see prices continue to drop and I think you are going to see a bit of a market drop incoming in the next couple of days and I want to get you guys prepared for that today. Maybe you can get out before some prices drop a little bit more and just again talk about how I think this kind of whole next couple of days is going to go. Also, I want to point out one thing that I don't hear people talking about a lot and that is Squad Battle Rewards have a new time for their release. These used to be released, I believe it was at midnight uh, Sunday night heading into Monday morning, midnight UK time, which was usually about 7 or 8 p.m. Um, here in the United States on Eastern time zone. So the new time though is I believe 8 a.m. UK. I believe it is 8 a.m. UK time on Sunday. So it's Sunday morning is now Squad Battle Rewards, which is very interesting. Um, I don't know how that coincides. I don't know why they changed that exactly, but Squad Battle Rewards, the competition does have a new time where they will start and end. Instead of it being kind of heading into a Monday, they will now have it ending on Sunday, uh, Sunday morning. So I find that very, very interesting, but that's also going to play into a factor on some, you know, how this market is, is going to be playing itself out this weekend with rewards coming out sooner. We're going to have a set of squad battle rewards basically like 12 to 24 hours before a lot of people will be getting on the game as well. So I know a lot of people have been playing squad battles because that has been the next reward set. So people have been playing this game mode to try to get the best rewards possible. Now, of course, they have definitely decreased the rewards that you get from squad battles is not as good but it again is going to be supply some supply that we will see on sunday morning on this game that is probably going to drop some cards on the game specifically those lower tier cards that we are a little bit worried about now again we've been talking about the supply and how the supply on this game and with these cards is just crazy and how we've just seen it drop cards continuously on this game. Now, there's been a little bit of a trend that you could notice over the past two days. A lot of these cards, they get a little bit more, they get, they get a little rare overnight and sometimes they go up in price a little bit. Usually what happens is prices get cheap right around the content drop and they kind of bounce back up a little bit. But then otherwise, with what's happening right now, um, it seems like they're actually just starting to kind of trickle off and all start to go down a little bit. So this is how the prices were fluctuating. Here's an example, Leroy Sané, right? He's 13,000 coins right now. This is on Thursday, right? This is not yesterday or, or not Friday, kind of the day that we're, we're talking about heading into Saturday. Thursday, Sané was expensive. He was 17K overnight. Dropped down to like 15,000 coins, probably was able to be bought at about 14K right here. And then went back up to 18K on Thursday night heading into Friday, right? Friday, he goes down to 13, pops back up to 16, and has been lower since that Friday morning time frame. He's been continually dropping off. Timo Werner, same thing. He started at 50,000 coins on Friday morning heading into yesterday and has now dropped off and he's now 40,000 coins. And I honestly think that a lot of these cards prices, you're starting to see kind of just slowly trickle downward. And I think that is again, just painting the picture of what is happening right now. A lot of people are getting worried about these cards getting supplied and dropping in price as we head towards Monday with all the FIFA points that are going to be opened up with all of the supply that's going to be coming on the market then a lot of people I think are going to start to prepare ahead of time and sell these cards even more today on Saturday and Sunday. I think it's almost inevitable again because people are not very confident in this market right now as prices have literally not risen at all. We've seen this Phil Foden card go between 18k and 25,000 coins. What was he on Thursday? Thursday, Phil Foden was up at 22K. He went down to 18, went back to 23. Again, he was high Friday morning, went down to the 19K range, and is now just kind of chilling right around that 20K mark, right? It does not seem like this market has the amount of coins or demand 
to make these prices go up, which is, I think, again, going to make people want to sell some of these cards. And you're going to see these prices continue to go downwards during the day today on Saturday and on Sunday. So if you're watching this video and prices aren't down that much, I'm not telling you to sell, right? Because some of these cards are going to go higher after Monday, after Tuesday. Some of your higher rated ones, right? Like a Rashford, like a Bruno Fernandes. Bruno Fernandes being 156K, in my opinion, this is a really, really undervalued card. I think this is really cheap. 88 rated. He has the most in-game stats of any gold card on this game. Last year, he was much more expensive. I really think this Bruno card is going to rise, right? And that's why I've been saying... A lot of you guys that have the more higher tier cards, like a Holland, again, like that Bruno Fernandez, maybe a Pogba. Um, you know, I might even throw guys like a Werner in, in there, um, or especially an Mbappe, a Varan, a Ferland Mendy. Cards that people are going to be upgrading to when they get a few more coins, when they get these FIFA points opened up. They're, these cards are going to continue to go higher after this because there's going to be more coins out there. People are going to be opening those FIFA points, selling what they get that the low tier pack stuff and going and buying the more meta players to upgrade their team. So some of you guys don't have to sell these cards. You can kind of just ride it out, maybe a small dip and then a rise later on. But for some of these other cards, like a Klosterman, yes, he is still very meta, but I think his price is going to still drop down and then maybe go up a little bit. You know, maybe an Mbabu is probably going to drop some more. Bellingham, you know, I'm still a little bit worried about a guy like Richarlison, who's 4,000 coins, or a Grealish, who's 4K. Kamavinga, who's 2.9 thousand coins. If you think about it, some of these cards that people have been using in their starter teams, here's an example for you. Pepe. Think about the Portuguese center back Pepe. This is in my opinion, almost a purely starter team card. A lot of people are going to be looking to upgrade from this card right away just because you can't really upgrade from the links in the Liga NOS, right? Yeah, you might be able to use them in your squad for a week or two, but after this, people are going to want to upgrade to maybe a guy like Skriniar, a guy like Joe Gomez, maybe a Lacroix or a, a, a Klosterman or, you know, Kunde for right so I think you're going to see cards like this Pepe who is you know more of just a starter team type player those are going to be the ones that are going to take big hits because people are kind of moving on from those onto bigger things now of course your other argument could be hey on Monday when people get on the game maybe for the first time there's going to be more gameplay demand and you know maybe some of these cards that are quote-unquote starter team players people getting on for the first time might be building a team for the first time. They don't have a ton of coins. True, but also with that big supply that is coming, and we know that the pack weight is really good, and uh, you know all those field points are going to be opened, it's going to make a lot of things cheaper. So I still think, yes, there is going to be a point on Monday where things start to rebound, but I really do think as well that a lot of stuff is going to drop today on Saturday, tomorrow on Sunday, and then as we get into Monday, we'll start to see how the FIFA points, how the packs, and everything else plays out and how this market responds to that. But again, if you're somebody who has got somebody, um, you know, like a Hyunmin Sun, rumored to be very, very OP in this game with the finesse shots, of course, being very overpowered. He's one of those ambassadors, right? A FIFA 22 ambassador, which some people are saying the ambassador players are very overpowered in game you know some of these high tier meta cards i don't think you have to sell them if you have them in your team and you don't want to get rid of them but if you have some guys in your team like maybe a malin again like an angel correa would be one that i'd, I'd be a little bit worried about an angel correa card right i know he's ten thousand coins i know he's 83 rated but i think this guy might get passed up with the supply people might be upgrading past these cards pretty quickly right again stick to the basics things stick to what we know with People are going to be getting coins, and these starter team players are going to drop off really fast. We looked at all these graphs the past couple of weeks in preparation for this week. It's the same thing, and it's even worse this year because, again, the massive amount of supply and the pack weight being increased. So today on Saturday, what, what I think you're going to see is just more of what we've seen already, but probably just a little bit more, I guess, um, maybe even a little bit more severe, right? Talk about Timo Werner, who was 50,000 coins yesterday. He kind of just trickled down in price all day. This Timo Werner might jump up to 45K at some point and then trickled back downwards just on natural natural fluctuations up and down, probably trickling downwards. He might hit 35,000 coins, right? That could be something that you do see because again, the dropping prices over the next day or so is a combination of people using up their 10 hours, the gameplay demand is not there, and then people selling their cards and selling their teams before we get to Monday and the madness that is supposed to transpire then. So 
That is what I want to just prepare you guys for in the video today and talk about. I would really watch Team of the Week cards. I know that that Monday time frame is a big day for Team of the Weeks as well because they're going to get supplied, A, and B, a lot of people are going to get an untradeable Team of the Week player as a part of their benefit from pre-ordering the game, which is going to supply a lot of your lower tier cards. So watch out for panic selling on cards like Kimmich, Sar, Tony, Salah, and Vinicius because those are the most desirable cards out of this team of the week for sure. If they get dropped in price, these team of the week cards are probably going to be decent pickups and um, for a rise out of packs as they go out of packs on Wednesday. So that'll be something to keep an eye on this weekend as well. And we'll talk about more cards to keep an eye on as we get towards that Monday time frame. But again, the main point today is that I do see prices going downwards in the next 24 to 48 hours as people start to prepare for that big day of Monday. And again, as you think about it, the gameplay demand is going away because people are using up their hours. Not everybody has unlimited access to the game or they've used up their 10 hours of gameplay. They played squad battles, they played division rivals and, and that stuff. So uh, compare that and compile that with squad battle rewards being early, that's gonna bring some supply to the market on Sunday morning that we weren't really expecting to have as well but with, with the new change to squad battle rewards time frame. So that is just the video for today, boys. Honestly, it's just kind of like a warning, right? A warning to you guys that if you have cards in your team that you don't want to risk it with in the next couple of days with just the way that this market has been with the prices being so cheap, on these lower tier cards, not only starter players, a lot of these items that we thought were gonna be double or triple the price that they currently are. If you don't wanna risk it with any of these, there might be an opportunity to still sell and then watch the price go down a little bit further. But then again, all of this meta stuff that does drop off a significant amount, we're gonna be looking at it on Sunday night headed into Monday for the exact same thing because a lot of people who sell today and tomorrow are gonna to be looking to buy back. That's the number one thing you have to remember as well is that this is, yes, a market drop coming, but again, there's gonna be a lot of gameplay demand coming out of it, and that to me means there's gonna be a nice rise on a lot of the meta players, a lot of the cards that people wanna use in this game. So personally, you have to decide for yourself, if I have a guy like Ronaldo, a high tier player, am I gonna sell or am I just gonna hold? Because a lot of these cards might dip a little bit, but then probably gonna come out on the positive once we have more gameplay demand and more coins on the market so more people can afford these big tier items like Ronaldo, Messi, the Rashford we mentioned, the Bruno Fernandez. But again, some of those lower tier cards, I'd be careful with. I really would be careful with. Also, just recognize what cards are in very rare positions. This Usman Dembele, a lot of people are asking about him, but for good reason. This is basically the only and the most meta right wing player in La Liga. You have Porto and you have Usman Dembele. Those are the most two meta players. Of course, Dembele being five star, five star with the French links. He's a very, very popular card, 83 rated. This would be a card that could be, you know, as you're starting to watch the market drop off on Saturday and on Sunday with people selling some of these players, start to keep an eye on some of these players that are really rare, that are really popular, that you think could be exploding. And if you do have a lot of coins or you get some coins after you open your FIFA points on Monday, when you start to expect the market to rise after that, which we are expecting, on the meta side, on the popular, most overpowered players in the game and higher rated players in this game, just kind of, I guess, start scoping out the market in the next couple days to find some places, find some points where you think, hey, this card just might be a little bit too cheap for the amount of hype that he has or for the amount of people that will be trying to upgrade to him or use him in their squads after this Monday date when all the FIFA points are gonna be opened start to kind of formulate those thoughts and plans, whether it's an investment or whether it's just a player that you want to buy for your team. Icons as well. Icons are really cheap, just like the whole rest of the market. You look at a lot of the prices of icons this year compared to last year, and they're just flat out cheap. They're just flat out cheap because of the supply, number one. And number two, a lot of people I think are just continuing to wait to see what happens with this big upcoming Monday with the supply of FIFA points and stuff like that. So it's going to be a huge, huge weekend on foot. There's going to be a lot of panic. There's going to be a lot of selling. And I do think that it is going to impact the market in a negative way. And you're going to see some prices go down. It might not be a huge crash, but it probably will just be, again, a lot of trickling downwards, right? We look at that graph of Werner where his graph just kind of was on a slow decline. I imagine that is what it's going to be like today on Saturday 
and on Sunday. So if you wanna get ahead of the curve, maybe take some sales on some cards, go ahead and do that, especially on the lower tier, and then get ready to go for a big day on Monday, which we will cover that here Sunday night, headed into Monday morning, so you best believe we will be watching the market all of this weekend. If you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. If you have any questions, drop them down below in the comments. And of course, subscribe if you are new. It has been Nate, the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace.